Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well. So for today's video, I thought I would do my winter um, beauty routine, um, a little bit of skincare, and then my makeup routine. Um, and this is what I like to do when the weather is a little bit dry and um, my skin is feeling like it needs an extra boost of moisture and hydration. I want to look extra dewy, extra just glowy. So um, we're going to indulge a little bit of a sheet mask and, and moisturize our skin first. So I'm going to start off with this. It's the Garnier Moisture Balm Tissue Mask and I haven't used this particular one before. So we're just going to get right into it. And you want to make sure your hands are clean for this. Obviously. It's so cold. But it's worth it. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh, it's just good. You know, get used to that coldness. Oh god. Now I sit and wait for about 15 minutes for this to get in there. And I feel like this is always just a nice treat to do for yourself. If you have time, I guess, in the morning. I'm gonna finish my episode of Sheets Creek. Sheets Creek. Nice. Yeah, first thing I thought of is what would happen to the baby if something happened to us. Okay, so now I'm just taking it off. I'm just gonna let that excess drip onto my hand and just massage my face. I'm gonna take a wet towel and just dab off the excess. Just dab off the excess. I'm gonna reach for an eye cream. I feel like eye creams are really like, if you need it, you need it. But normally your serum should keep your moisturizer should be good enough for your eye, for your under eye area. But I love this one from Estee Lauder, it's the Advanced Night Repair Concentrate and I'm just taking my middle fingers and I'm massaging it around my eye area. I also like to take the excess down into my smile lines that come from my nose as well. To moisturize my face, I'm taking my Kiehl's um, Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. This is pretty new but I like the fact that it's a ultra hydrating um, moisturizer and we're gonna put that onto our skin it's so funny last week I completely completely broke out um, on my forehead immediately after my birthday I completely broke out this is before we went out so I know it wasn't the champagne I think it was the joy of that day <laughs> That I woke up on Wednesday morning with a landmine of pimples on my forehead. Oh, wow, I love this face cream. It smells so good and so refreshing. That's sort of what I'm going to be doing for my hydration um, and prepping my skin for my makeup application. As it settles into my skin, I'm going to go on and do my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'm using some new products um, that I just received from Benefit. These are the Precisely My Brow pencils and it's not new to Benefit, but I personally actually have never used them. I like that it's really all about creating those hair-like strokes onto the brows. So it also has this brush, this spoolie on the one end. So you're just going to comb up those brows. The pencil for this is super skinny, so it really gives you those hair-like strokes. I always tend to favor this brow more than this other one. For foundation, um, we're not going to prime because we have already prepped our skin really, really nicely with our skincare products, feeling super hydrated and super moisturized. So I'm going to go in with some 
moisturizing sort of like dewy foundations these are the dior skin glow if you can see that the dior skin glow 24 hour wear radiant perfection skin caring foundation i'm using two shades because they were kind enough to save me the foundations however it's the wrong shades so i'm mixing these up together when i mix them up together they perform very well i am the shade 5N in dual foundations. So I have with me 4.5N and 6N. So my thought process is mixing the two together will give me what I need. And I've done it before and they have. Even though it's a dewy foundation, I like to use a flat top kabuki brush because it gives me slightly more coverage, which is what I'm after. So I have them here. Just gonna give them both a quick shake. And to complete my whole face, I don't really measure how many pumps I need, but I'll start off with two pumps. And I'm just gonna mix that together. And I'm gonna apply. And I love this foundation because, I mean, the coverage is great, but not just that, it's not like too, it's, it's, it's not a mattifying foundation. But it's not like gonna leave you, leave you wet and too dewy either. It's gonna give you a nice healthy glow. It's gonna give you a nice healthy sheen to the skin, which I absolutely love. And generally, like when I use foundations like this, um, that are give you that are for like dewy finishes and like glowy finishes, I tend to not want to bake. Um, all I'll do is like just set underneath my eye. Um, quite minimally with a loose powder but I generally tend not to bake because I don't want to take away from that like dewy glowy sort of look to the skin and actually I feel like those four pumps carried me well I'm just going to do one more like a half a pump each on my forehead just for a little more coverage because like I said that is where I broke out and I feel like I still have one pimple that wants the spotlight. For my under eye, um, I'm deciding between these three concealers. I have the MAC, I have the Smashbox, I have Tushmas, 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 Tushmas. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer in medium dark. I'm just gonna take this. I feel like it might be, I would like this to be a little bit brighter, just a little bit brighter, but we'll see where this takes us. I love the doe foot of this concealer, love it, very nice, so it's not as bright as I would like it to be, so I may just dot a lighter concealer on top, and I like a little bit of brightness, especially if I'm not going to be like baking per se. Um, I'm gonna pick up it. Okay, I do have one on my desk. It's the MAC. I'm gonna take the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer. This is NC44. Significantly lighter. I'm just gonna dot this. I'm dotting. I'm saying I'm gonna dot it, but I'm putting on so much. <laughs> I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden um, blurring powder and I want to set underneath my eye just where I'm prone to crease so really right underneath there and that's really the only purpose for setting we're not setting to bake or anything like that we really want the jimminess to stay there especially during this time of the year and we're definitely gonna set our forehead because as much as we want a shine I feel like a shine on the forehead just eludes to sweat I would like to create the shine there with some highlighter I'm going to take my Estee Lauder um, powder this is the studio oh, studio this is the double way stay in place matte powder and I'm just gonna set around my face like 
and I'm gonna go in and contour and I'm contouring with my Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit this hardly ever changes for me I love it so much and I'll go in with the dark brown and the terracotta the two middle colors um, for warmth and contour at the same time but I, di I dip into the terracotta which is the orange shade more than I do the brown because I still want that to be more of a bronzy glow as opposed to a very harsh sort of like sh um, contour I'm gonna take that same technique down the jawline I'm doing it lightly just tapping it lightly for my nose contour I'm gonna go in with my actual contour palette this is from NYX Cosmetics um, and I'm gonna take this first brown shade here. I'm gonna start off with that and see if I'm happy with that shadow that it's creating. And it turns out I am. Oh, I love how I look. It's so caramel. It's so, oh. I love it. It's dewy. It looks radiant. It looks healthy. What adds to my skin, and that's the big focus of a look like this, of course, is highlights. And I'm going to go in with this highlighter from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Times Puma collaboration. But Maybelline already has chrome highlighters. They're called the Master Chrome Highlighters. They just did something with the packaging because of the collaboration. If I can get it open. There we go. So um, these are the Master Chrome highlighters from Maybelline, um, but this packaging it just says the Maybelline Chrome Highlight Reflect Chrome, and I love these highlighters. I feel like they just do the things in terms of like the glow. I absolutely, and I want to take this to my nose. There's so many makeup artists that say all these celebrity makeup artists that say like don't highlight the tip of your nose never highlight the tip of your nose it's so catch I could never stop highlighting the tip of my nose ever like why would you ever do that you remember when I said that it, like my forehead always stays matte but I will like create that highlight and I take my highlight just right there So let's get into the eye, which is not complicated at all. For my everyday winter look, I rarely use eyeshadow. I literally will actually just use my, my normal face powder and bronzer. Um, or I have this Bobbi Brown um, single eyeshadow, which is called Camel. And I absolutely love the shade. It's just like a beautiful camel sort of like brown. And I like to take that into my um, crease. Actually, I plop it all over my eye. Um, I like to add some a waterline or a creamy waterline to my waterline. So I'm taking this NYX um, Cosmetics Wonder Pencil and I'm just going into that into that waterline there, just to brighten up the eye. I really love that look. It just brightens up the eye and takes to that next level. And then we're going to go back in with that same eyeshadow. And we're going to take a more um, sort of detailed brush. And we're just going to concentrate that on the lower, on the lower lash line. Just to neaten up that eye. So for this winter, I've actually been dabbling into a winged eye quite a bit. So um, I've been using the Benefit Roller Lash um, Liquid Liner, which is, I believe it's a new release. And my winged eye for winter has to be on a blank canvas, so which is why I go for like these neutral shades. Because I, my winged eye is almost like the look, like it makes the look. And we also go a little bit dramatic with it as well. So. We take it up, it's gonna be up, it's gonna be high and arched and flicked out. And we're gonna bring it down. 
The trick with the winged eye is to really make sure, try as hard as you can to do it while your eye is slightly ajar, slightly open, so that you can see how it's looking like. I feel like a lot of the time when the eye is closed and you've done the you've done the wing and then you open your eye, it doesn't quite look how you thought it would. So we want a winged eye that is thick and dramatic like that because it really is gonna make the look. And we're gonna do the same this side. So to match my um, liquid liner, I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just gonna coat my lashes. And I'm gonna do the same. And for a look like this, I really do like a dramatic lash because the look isn't drama. The look is definitely has a focus on skin and you know, on this winged eye that has this like dramatic lash. And then we're gonna do a dramatic look. So I feel like no winter look is complete without a dark sort of like bambi lip and I'll admit that I have not done a dark lip yet this winter. So you see I'm doing it for this video. You guys know that my typical MO is for up to this point to go in with a lip gloss but for this video I'm going to do a dark lip. So I'm taking my MAC um, lip liner in chestnut. I should be using Night Moth but I don't know where it is. And then my two options are, uh, they're both MAC, they're the MAC Retro Matte Lip Colors. I have Un Uniformly Fabulous and I have High Drama. I feel like I've used High Drama before and Uniformly Fabulous looks a lot more vampy and purple. So, oof, oh my god, that is dark, whoa. That is super dark. But it's fine. We're gonna commit. We're gonna commit. To set everything, I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay All Nice Spray. Just set it all in place. So this you guys is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is what I would say is my current winter beauty routine. Um, obviously the bright, the, the bold lip is a change, but it is definitely appropriate for the season. Yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my video, or to my channel, and then comment and like this video. And I'll be sure to see you soon. Bye.